Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to see this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join the Happy Christian Family. And also please share with friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. In today's video is a warning message about the end time from one of our dear brother. I'm going to read it the same way it was delivered to us. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. Please watch this video to the end as I proceed. Hi, my name is Prophet Yemi, I'm from Nigeria. On the 6th of September, 2022, at exactly 3.36 a.m., I asked the Holy Spirit the topic I should put down when I was taken on trance. I saw myself in front of a mighty gate, a gate you won't see its beginning and you won't see the end. The gate opened itself and I entered. Immediately I entered, I met myself in front of a very big hall, the one I can call our own event center. I walked in and sat down. I have never seen that kind of hall in my life before, it is indescribable. Suddenly, I saw a light in form of a projector light, projecting on a wall in form of a movie. In the scenes, I saw a burial going on and the dead was put into the ground and covered with sands. Brethren, this is not the issue of Christianity or Islamic now, it's the matter of righteousness or unrighteousness. It's either you are a saint when death calls or a sinner, I am still coming to that. I saw that immediately the dead was covered with sons and his beloved friends, family and members who came for his burial left, a voice ordered the dead to wake up to life again, in which it woke up immediately. Beloved, let's both imagine how it will be, how painful, scary and difficult to pass through that kind of stage. In the dark, no one to talk to, dangerous insects moving around you in the coffin, no amount of cries, shout or scream can make your loved one to hear you. After seeing this, I was taken back to my inspiration and meditation room in my house. To be honest, I was shivering, I was afraid and I said to myself, I will have to write something down as a note that any time I die, before I am buried, they should remove my heart and put it beside my body. Beloved, as I said this, the Holy Spirit came around me and told me that God the Father is so powerful to wake you up to life in the coffin, under the ground, even without your heart. Hearing this, I was scared the more. He said further, the only solution is righteousness. Most people or Christians will tell you that after death comes judgment. But today, through the help of the Holy Spirit, I will inform you that it is not judgment immediately, it is time for torment for some and praises for some till the rapture sounds. Even the Bible made us to understand that, when the trumpet sounds, the dead will be the first to meet the sun before the living joins. Why meeting the sun again, when they were already judged and entered the kingdom of God? The only thing I can say is that, after death, there is uncertain or no more mercy, and it is what death meet in your hands in the last minute that will determine your destination before the rapture takes place. There are three destinations before rapture or judgment. Number 1. The place of saint. This is where the righteous go to after death, 
singing praises and shouting hallelujah every second to Almighty God. They are always in white rope. This place is on this earth too, but in another world or realm. No physical eyes can see this and not all in our eyes can see it too, except the ones God the Father shows himself. So many people mistake this place for heaven. When God takes people to this place in spiritual realm, dream, vision or by death, they come back telling the world they were taken to heaven because of its beauty. No one sees this place truly and not call it heaven because of the mighty thrones, crowns, unexplained pillars and all. Those in this place bow to God, worship Him and give Him praises every second. There is peace, love, holiness and happiness here. Number 2. The Place of Torment this place is designed for the recalcitrant, disobedient ones. Those that died in sin. Even if you had lived a righteous life and just sinned at your last minute, the place of torment is your place till the rapture sounds. Except if grace and mercy works for you over there, which is very rare and slim. So many people will criticize me on this, because people believe that there is no more mercy after death. My God is an unquestionable God. You can't talk for Him, the way He does His things are different from yours. For those that were shown into the place of torment and Jesus appeared and said, go back to the world and make changes and they came back to life, what did they receive? Nothing but mercy after death, when others could not. He said, I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. If he bestow his mercy on someone and sideline others, who is going to arrest him? No one. As I was saying, the place of torment or torture is very hot, there are a series of punishments over there. So many people mistake this place for hell. Truly, there is fire in this place too, but this is a temporary one, a fake one, there is gnashing of teeth here too, the pains there are many. In this place, they have degrees of punishment. Part of the punishment is the one they ask to wake up again inside the grave, where there is nothing more than full darkness, hottest heat and high degree of dryness. You will want to drink water, but no water, full of thirst and hunger, because he is in human form in the grave. Many insects will deal with him too, crawling around him, but there is nothing to do and he will be like that for many years. They may give a very big mountain to some dead to be breaking in smaller particles with high degree of canes. In this place, no amount of cries that comes from you, there won't be any single tear coming from your eyes. This place is a very dangerous place to be and guess what? Whatever punishment one may find here, they are just temporary, because the greatest of it all comes after rapture and acceptance of the mark 666. That is eternal one, because both the dead and the tormentors in the place of torment would be thrown into the lake of fire. There is no any supervision of any kind here, it's eternal. Number 3. The Earth in Physical This is a place where those that died untimely are. Those that died when it is not their time are still in this physical realm wandering about, because no gates will be opened to them until their designated time clocks. Despite the fact that they are in the physical realm, physical eyes can't see them, only few inner eyes can see or feel them around. They are mostly seen or felt around on Thursdays and Fridays. Not every inner eyes can see them too, 
but only the gifted ones see them clearly and few just see them in dreams or flash. So many people will come out and say all these I am saying are nothing but false, because it is we Christians that hate truth the most. One thing is sure, truth shall prevail one day, but before the truth prevail, where do you want to spend your temporary life before judgment when death calls? Or are you saying, God forbid, I won't die in Jesus' name? Brethren, it's a debt few must pay before rapture. Preparation is the key, always act as if you will be called the next minute by God to come home, because no one knows the day and the time. Settle the dispute between you and your God today, give your life to Christ, let him perfect everything for you. If I say everything, I mean both physical and spiritual. It won't be cool, fine and nice if you and I should end up in the place of torment, let's correct our ways. No matter how powerful you are, it will end one day. No matter how rich you are, you will go one day and the wealth will be taken over by another person. Yes, you have properties, huge and expensive ones, my brother, they can't drive you down to any place in spiritual realm. Even if they should use a coffin worth billions of dollars for you, it can't add to anything for you, they won't even switch on AC for you in the coffin. Get closer to God today and be saved. He that has ears, let him hear what the Spirit is telling him. Make changes now because the next minute might be too late. Heavenly Father, myself and this reader and the listeners comes before thee this minute. Forgive us our sins, make us your children again, sanctify us, purify us and grant us your mercy and grace to reign with you at end time. And never allow us to be perished. We thank you for answering our prayers, for in Jesus' mighty name we prayed. Amen.